Okay, so the question to today, how can I add a CDF plot in my spot fire analysis? CDF stands for Cumulative Distribution Function and is very useful if you are doing any kind of uh, characterization in your data. So let's say I already have uh, most of my characterization done with this data and I also have this table that is showing me my different uh, percentiles. So this is telling me that 97% of my distribution is uh, below this 1.2 number. What I want to do is to add a cumulative plot that pretty much shows me these values. So to do so, we can explore the different solutions that the Community Typical Exchange website offers. These are data functions that you can download for free and use it in your own analysis. One of these functions is called the CDF plot. Once you click on it, you can go to the Releases tab and just uh, download the zip folder. This is an example of how this looks under the Release tab. You will find a zip folder. As soon as you unzip that folder, you will find three files. The actual data function, a template DXP that is going to guide you, and a readme file with some additional information. Let's open the empirical DXP template. So this is a very quick example on how to create an empirical CDF. This is describing the data function, what is going into the data function, and what is going out to the data function. This is just a template to guide you. So if you go to Edit Data Function Properties, you can actually see the script right there, and you can see which ones are the input and the output parameters based on this example. Now, what you really need to do is to be able to use this into your own analysis. So back to my own data, all I have to do is to insert that data function that comes in that folder, cdfplot.sfd. Once I click on it, I just need to wire up the data function. So it's going to have an input column. In this case, I am characterizing corriente, which is current. And my output is going to be a data table that it will call, it will be called CDF table. I just need to refresh this data function automatically and click OK. Now the only thing that we are missing is to visualize it. So just click on a line chart. I'm just going to rearrange things a little bit here. And in that line chart, just be sure that you are using the correct data table. In this case, it's the CDF table, which is the output from the data function. In your x-axis, you are going to have that value, which is the output from the data function. And in your y-axis, you are going to have your probability. Just be sure that you select non-aggregation here. And now we can see the different values on the probability here. Now, to have a better curve here, just remove the auto bean. Just right-click of the mouse, remove the auto beaning and then you get more like a probability curve, okay? So that is just a quick example of how you can add your own CDF visualization into the Spotfire analysis using a very simple data function.